Okay, so we're ready to pipe. So I'm just going to move this back and I think I'll just lie the piping bag on there so you can see what I'm doing. And the, the batter's not quite thick enough yet, but I'm going to start spooning it in because I know it's going to be ready fairly soon. So if you remember, I said to you, I've actually marked the mould all the way around. Oh, they look fairly cute. I think I'll just put some of them on there. One of the other questions I get an awful lot of is people send me messages and um, this is quite important. Now what I'm going to tell you is absolutely not to put anyone off starting to make soap but I get a lot of questions about um, from people saying oh I'm going to pack my job in I'm going to take up soap in full time because I want to make money to pay for whatever whether it's a college education or it's uh, to pay for the pay the bills at home well my absolute 100 percent advice is if you haven't any money behind you and that's how i started mine is literally from scratch making a couple of soaps selling them then putting the profit back into the business, making more soap um, and turning those two soaps into four and then four into eight, eight into 16, that sort of thing. Um, the money I made from the job I had before I started my soap business, um, I used a lot of that to learn how to make soap. I didn't sell a single piece of soap until I'd been making soap for 10 months until I was sure uh, that what I was making was good enough to sell um, so if you are thinking of packing your job in finishing your job to start a soap business to make plenty of money it ain't going to happen I promise you it ain't going to happen and I am not telling you that to put you off I'm telling you to save your life basically um this still isn't ready really it needs to thicken up a bit so we'll just talk a little while until this is ready um and with any business it's the same and the bigger you get the more money you spend you need bigger molds you, instead of buying one mold you need 10 or 20 um instead of buying 100 grams of coconut oil you're buying it in 100 kilos and then 200 kilos and then a ton and that sort of thing. Then you need bigger equipment to make your soap in. So for the first four years, I'm telling you the honest truth, I didn't make any money really, not much. Um, it's only now, after seven years, that I'm starting to make a wage it's a decent wage it's nothing out of the ordinary though nothing special but it's a decent wage so I really just want to warn people if they are going into this to make stacks of money it's not going to happen 
unless you've got stacks of money behind you, of course. And like I said, I'm not telling you that because, oh, Karen's only saying that because she doesn't want you to start making soap. That's not the case at all because the more people making soap, the merrier and the more popular it becomes and then hopefully we'll get the whole world interested in buying natural so soap instead of commercial soap so that's how I look at it um, I had a girl quite a few months ago who desperately needed some money quick she needed it quick and she didn't have a lot of money to put into it either um, she had to have enough money to start paying her rent or her mortgage or she was going to lose her house and I said this ain't the business for you if that's what you want to do and I dare bet you if you ask most soap makers they would tell you the same I know there are soap makers out there who do want to put you off um, but that's not the reason I'm telling you that so keep that in mind because that's it's quite important and I would hate for anyone to end up in a hole by finishing work and then starting to do this because even if you did start to do it you're going to have to learn how to make soap that's going to take a long time it's going to cost you a lot of money to buy all the ingredients to learn you're going to ruin a lot of soaps that are going to have to go in the bin so there's going to be a lot of wasted money as well and until it's right and you're ready to sell it you know till it's good enough to sell you really can't go out and sell it so that's just my advice and I hope you take it well So this, uh, the batter's a little bit softer than I usually like it to be. I usually like it a bit thicker than this because it makes your, your points and the design more defined. But it's fine. It's working out okay. And so we're coming to the end of this video now. I can't tell you how many people have been in touch with me and asked me to restock the lemon meringue soap that I used to do that was a big cake. So I've redesigned that and I'm going to be doing that very soon. And I also have a more, few more of these creative videos for you. And I'm going to save my favourite till, till last. Um, but yeah, if you want to enter my competition, you can enter anything. Cooking, crafts, soap making, photography, if you make videos, whatever you want to do, you can enter. And the links, not the links, the uh, place to send them to, the email address, is down in the description below, below this video. We've had loads of fab entries so far and some very unusual ones as well, which I can't wait to show you. Okay, so we're ready to pipe. So I'm just going to move this back and I think I'll just lie the piping bag on there so you can see what I'm doing. And the, the batter's not quite thick enough yet, but I'm going to start spooning it in because I know it's going to be ready fairly soon <laughs> that's Declan So if you remember I said to you I've actually marked 
the mold all the way around. Oh, they look fairly cute. I think I'll just put some of them on there. <laughs> the questions I get an awful lot of is people send me messages and um, this is quite important now what I'm going to tell you is absolutely not to put anyone off starting to make soap but I get a lot of questions about um, from people saying oh I'm going to pack my job in I'm going to take up soap in full time because I want to make money to pay for whatever whether it's a college education or it's uh, to pay for the pay the bills at home well my absolute 100 percent advice is if you haven't any money behind you and that's how i started mine is literally from scratch making a couple of soaps selling them then putting the profit back into the business, making more soap um, and turning those two soaps into four and then four into eight, eight into 16, that sort of thing. Um, the money I made from the job I had before I started my soap business, um, I used a lot of that to learn how to make soap. I didn't sell a single piece of soap until I'd been making soap for 10 months until I was sure uh, that what I was making was good enough to sell um, so if you are thinking of packing your job in finishing your job to start a soap business to make plenty of money it ain't gonna happen I promise you it ain't gonna happen and I am not telling you that to put you off I'm telling you to save your life basically um this still isn't ready really it needs to thicken up a bit so we'll just talk a little while until this is ready um and with any business it's the same and the bigger you get the more money you spend you need bigger molds you, instead of buying one mold you need 10 or 20 um instead of buying 100 grams of coconut oil you're buying it in 100 kilos and then 200 kilos and then a ton and that sort of thing. Then you need bigger equipment to make your soap in. So for the first four years, I'm telling you the honest truth, I didn't make any money really, not much. Um, it's only now, after seven years, that I'm starting to make a wage it's a decent wage it's nothing out of the ordinary though nothing special but it's a decent wage so I really just want to warn people if they are going into this to make stacks of money it's not going to happen unless you've got stacks of money behind you of course And like I said, I'm not telling you that because, oh, Karen's only saying that because she doesn't want you to start making soap. That's not the case at all because the more people making soap, the merrier and the more popular it becomes. And then hopefully we'll get the whole world interested in buying natural soap instead of commercial soap. So that's how I look at it. Um... I had a girl quite a few months ago who desperately needed some money quick. She needed it quick and she didn't have a lot of money to put into it either. Um, she had to have enough money to start paying her rent or her mortgage or she was going to lose her house. And I said, this ain't the business for you if that's what you want to do. And I dare bet you, if you ask most soap makers, they would tell you the same. I know there are soap makers out there who do want to put you off. Um, 
but that's not the reason I'm telling you that. So keep that in mind because that's it's quite important and I would hate for anyone to end up in a hole by finishing work and then starting to do this because even if you did start to do it you're going to have to learn how to make soap that's going to take a long time it's going to cost you a lot of money to buy all the ingredients to learn you're going to ruin a lot of soaps that are going to have to go in the bin so there's going to be a lot of wasted money as well and until it's right and you're ready to sell it you know till it's good enough to sell you really can't go out and sell it so that's just my advice and i hope you take it well so this uh, the batter's a little bit softer than i usually like it to be i usually like it a bit thicker than this because it makes you your points and the design more defined but it's fine it's working out okay and so we're coming to the end of this video now I can't tell you how many people have been in touch with me and asked me to restock the lemon meringue soap that I used to do that was a big cake so I've redesigned that and I'm going to be doing that very soon and I also have a more, few more of these creative videos for you and I'm going to save my favourite till, till last um, but yeah if you want to enter, enter my competition you can enter anything cooking, crafts, soap making photography if you make videos whatever you want to do you can enter and the links not the links the uh, place to send them to the email address is down in the description below below this video and we've had loads of fab entries so far and some very unusual ones as well which i can't wait to show you Okay, so now it's time to decorate. And so the decorations are pieces of soap that look like chocolate. And the great thing is, I'm lucky that my uh, the soap adheres to these so they don't pick off very easily. I mean, they will with force, but it won't happen too easily. So where are we? I'll just pop that one back there and move this into frame. And these are my chocolate pieces ready to go. I mean, I might keep doing these videos right the way through July. I'm not sure yet, um, but I'm going to keep going with it because obviously it's it's probably not video seven, but it is day seven of creative week. So I really should be finishing today, but I'm going to carry it on because I've got a few more ideas up my sleeve that I'd love to show you. Declan's full of cold. Every year at this time of year he gets a cold but it's usually when the holidays have started. Um, our kids Good aren't off. Because yeah. he's got a cold and they're going away like next week. They're, they're going to so Australia for a month. Now, for yeah. And you usually get one when you break up, don't you?
so yeah his friend's gonna be away so when you've got a, an only child it's a bit difficult during the holidays what? if friends are off on holiday uh, ask them if any of them have got any balasongs yeah Declan would like to know Declan's really into collecting knives that doesn't mean he's, he's a nutcase or anything um, but yeah, he's really into collecting knives, so he's really into ballast songs at the moment, if that's how you pronounce it. Balasongs. And he's just wondering if any of you have any, or your husbands or sons have any? Or guns. Or guns, he's into guns as well. He's into like survival. survival. That's really where it comes Did from. It's not fighting and murder videos and all that sort of thing. So. Carry. Carry. Right, so that's what the soap looks like. Finished. Not quite finished because I still need to put my my gold mica on the top. And it's got to be around somewhere. Where are you? gold glitter but I don't want to use the gold glitter because I think the mica looks a lot nicer so there we are I found it and plus I like the colour of it as well the gold glitter we get in this country tends to be very green looking um, where the mica is like a yellowy gold which is much nicer I think anyway and we're all different So there we go. If you ever wanted to know how I make my cashmere cake, now you know. Oh, one more. This is the last one. I'll zoom in on the mica so you can see what it looks like close up. And I just use salt and pepper pots for my glitter. It's pretty gorgeous, isn't it? Love it. Absolutely love it. Right everyone, thanks for watching this video and don't forget to enter that competition. I really don't know how I'm going to choose because there's been some magnificent entries. I'd love to get everyone involved in choosing but I just don't know how I would physically do it. You know, show every picture and then have like a voting system in the comments below. That's what I'd like to do so if anyone's got a great idea on how I can do that, um i'd love to do that the only thing that worries me about a voting system is friends voting and i would want it to be as fair as possible but if anyone's got a great idea on that please let me know for the creative competition that we've got going here at eden secret have a great day thanks for watching i'll see you next time and what did you say i had to say deck what what did you say i had to say BFR or something. BRB. BRB. Yeah. What did it stand for? Be right back. I'll be right back. See, I'm thick as two short planks. In some ways. In others, Even I'm not so thick. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Hi, hi everyone. Welcome to Eden Secret. It is creative week. Um, but I'm not doing anything different here. I'm actually just going to show you how I make my cashmere cake soaps. Uh, so I've got my batter ready, my soap batter, uh, it's already got the lye in it and I've got four of these, uh, the silicone moulds, the stronger you can find the better they are, if they're thin and flimsy they're rubbish basically as far as I'm concerned, 
and the reason I say that is if it's thin if the silicon's thin sorry sorry this keeps going out of focus if the silicon's thin it's just got no strength to hold the batter into the cake sorry it's really struggling to focus here yeah doesn't like that does it so as you can see around the edge I've got marks right round every single one of the moulds and I'll show you later why they're there now just back to the batter um, what I really want to mention is lie uh, I get hundreds of messages um, what I'm going to do is in each video all the questions that, that I get asked on a regular basis I'm going to answer them in a video so that people don't need to keep sending me messages 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 um, asking the same questions um, over and over and over I've asked people to ask as a comment on my latest video but for some reason they don't want it and I think it's maybe because they just want the answer for themselves and they don't want to share it so um, the other thing with messages is remember a while ago I said I was going to do a little bit of a rant video it's not complaining that people are sending me messages it's the complaint is that people don't put the correct email address in a message so when I try to reply these messages usually come in through the website so it might sound weird that why can't I just reply to them well I can't because I've physically got to type your email address in now sometimes I might type the email address in incorrectly um, but I will try two or three times if I get to the third try then I give up so if you don't get a reply to your question that's why you haven't got a reply it's not that I'm not going to reply to your message so back to the lie um, people are terrified to use lie that haven't used lie before it's not as scary as you think and it doesn't burn like you would get a burn from the oven or the fire it's more a stinging sensation um, it can can actually split the skin it's uh, it has split my skin when I've got it on there but don't be terrified of it it's not a horrific problem it's just a safety problem you know take the safety precautions have long sleeves um, make sure you've got gloves on and make sure you've got goggles on when you're using it when you are unmolding the soaps and especially when you're washing the dishes in the sink because very often it's splashed up and where's the first place it hits it goes straight into your no. eye it goes into your eye if you didn't hear that the other one that's horrific is behind your fingernail that oh my goodness that's horrific that one and you can't poke it out you literally can't poke it or rinse it because when you try to clean it it pushes it pushes the mixture further down into the behind your nail so that's just the quick um, answer to the lie question don't let it put you off making soap just get on there get your soap made and just have loads of fun that's what we all do right I'll be back in a minute with the next step okay so I've actually poured two bases so far I'm just going to keep showing you each stage, stage as we go on the side of the jug we've got all the measurements down here so my first layer is 700 mils and so every layer bottom layer I do is 700 mils just a little bit of brown in there and a little spoon bit of oxide brown oxide mix that in and then I've got a hand, real handy little thing here this is just it's got measurements on the side in mills so I'm just going to pour my fragrance the amount of fragrance I've, I've always used this little thing I'd be devastated if I lost it so into this brown here 
I put about an well it's at least an ounce it's 35 ml I put in there mix it thoroughly and then I give it a gentle stir to get the air bubbles out and then it's going to be difficult this I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to show you but then we just pour that in to the mould sorry if you can't see it but you'll see the next pour a lot better when you're using a tripod it's difficult when you're using a tripod it's actually difficult to get it in the correct angle so I can show you everything right so on to the next part I'll go in can you see that we're going up to 700 again a bit of brown oxide a little bit of my own I mix my, all my own colours so that's my brown mixture uh, the oxide gives it a much a much more chocolatey colour um, I've never found a brown yet that mixes up to a nice colour and you tend to need to use such a lot of it as well and we'll just pop fragrance in again This is why I don't make so many soap videos to watch because it's just so so awkward trying to get the tripod in the right place. But when I've got more space, we might be able to do more videos like this. And as you can see, it's a fairly fast moving fragrance. It's not terribly fast, it's just right for this job actually. Right, that's that. Okay, so we'll be on with the next stage in a minute. Okay, we're on to the middle level now. I love these whisks. <laughs> I like to pop them in my soap and give it a good stir. And then that brings sometimes round the edge of your soap batter in the pot it gets a thick layer and I'm, I'm talking about round the edge here well that lifts it off and it mixes it in with the soap so my next layer isn't going to be 700 it's going to be uh, 400 I think it's 400 I have all this in my head you know I should really write them down um, but it's 400 and then I I use the titanium that you mix with water so we just put a bit of that in What do you know titanium as? Mm -hmm. and 
and then I always mix it round from the side of the bowl because the titanium or any colour is going to stick to the side of the bowl and then when you pour it you're going to have chunks of white or, or whatever. So I'll just move you over to here. This is so awkward. And you see it, it does move fairly quickly, this fragrance. And this is a fragrance of my own. It's uh, two different fragrances mixed together. So we just pat it down like this. And then give it a, a wallop. And if you look closely there, this is what I was talking about. If you haven't scraped your titanium off properly, can you see there? So I'm just going to mix that in. And then tap down again. Okay, I'm not going to show you me doing it on all of them. I'll just show you on this one because it's quite... And if anyone doesn't know what I'm talking about, coming into my new soap studio, this is it. You, you see, I wanted to show you them you playing with your new tool. John loves playing with his own tool. He loves it. Don't ever get one of It's these. not useless. It works. It it's telling him where the electric cables are. I can't trust it. No, well we don't trust you more. So you can see I've got the handles on now. Really like the handles. Uh, I, the knobs are okay, but you've got to have knobs for drawers. So I can't wait to start using all these. I know this has nothing to do with me making the soap. But the guy just finished it the other day, so really chuffed with it, really chuffed. And I've got a nice Belfast sink as well. Uh, it's not massive, but it's big enough for what I want because I'm going to have a dishwasher over at this end here. Is the dishwasher going here now? Which way I want it. Oh, whatever I want. That makes a change. Yeah, please. Can I have a, a Range Rover then? Start making some money. Then. <laughs> well, that's true enough. So there you go. So back to the soap. But I'm going to have to fix that because there's a big gap there. That's oh, just gonna annoy they me. won't see that. There's a gap again. He's on about that there. I've got my hand to there. So it is quite to, wide, I'm isn't it? i tickle that up. Once you get the top on it, though, it won't, it won't have all the light showing through, will it? Back in a more.